Only few people in Indian football really ever stood up for what they deserve. Syed Naimuddin is one of them. Hi, I'm Ankur Sharma, you're watching Super Football and these are the 5 things that you should know about former Indian defender and coach Syed Naimuddin. Syed Naimuddin is a one-of-a-kind figure in Indian football. Not only was he an absolute superstar as a player, he did wonders as a coach as well. Naimuddin not only played for Mohammedan, Mohan Bagan, East Bengal and the national team, he also later went on and managed them. Thanks to his impeccable playing and managing record, he's the only Indian football player to have won both the Arjuna and Dronacharya award. In 1965, Naimuddin's Andhra Pradesh team beat the mighty East Bengal and that caught the eye of Jyotish Chandra Guha, an East Bengal official who used to scout promising young players. By 1966, both East Bengal and Mohan Bagan were pursuing Naimuddin, but Guha convinced the West Bengal chief minister to grant release from his job at the Andhra Pradesh and that is how a young side ended up moving to the red and gold. Moving to Kolkata changed Naimuddin's life. In two years, he went on to win every trophy he could with East Bengal. He later then moved on to Mohan Bagan and also captain Mohammed in SC, and he was successful everywhere. People of Kolkata fell in love with Syed's elegant defending and style of play that exuded calm. And not to mention, he was an extremely good-looking young guy, which turned him into a superstar. East Bengal fans even compared him to Devanand since he looked so good. After a fulfilling playing career, Naimuddin took up coaching and he was like a breath of fresh air for Indian football. Unlike other coaches, he was extremely industrious about his work and he took his lessons not only in India but in countries like Germany and Brazil. He went on to manage East Bengal, Mohan Bagan, Mohammedan SC and the Indian national team. And he's also the only Indian coach to have managed more than one national team. Bangladesh is the other one. Back in 2013, Naimuddin's financial condition took a hit due to lack of employment opportunities and that compelled him to call himself a national beggar. That caused a stir and Kolkata clubs took notice. To help Sayyid, a match was organized and around 12 lakh rupees was generated through the whole event. But Naimuddin did not accept the money since he did not like the way the whole event was being organized. But when asked as to why he did not accept the money, he famously said, Tiger kabhi khas nahi khata. And we thought only Zlatan could pull a Zlatan. And that is it guys, these are the 5 things that you should know about Sayyid Naimuddin. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and in the comments down below tell us if there's something about Sayyid Naimuddin that we might have missed. Till the next time, I'm Vinankar Sharma, you watching Super Football and I'll see you in the next video. As a defender, he was known for his clean tackling, anticipation and tactical defending, which by the way was unheard of back then. And also, he was India's first designated set-piece taker and he was known for his strong shots and that is something that he was complimented for by the Prince and Princess of England.